Hello everyone, welcome to section C of the full online tutorial series on SketchUp from basic to advanced in detail. This is third part of section C. In previous part of this section, I told you about how to draw or generate faces in SketchUp with the help of lines and other shortcuts and tips useful while working on creating a face or a surface in SketchUp. In this part of the section, I will introduce you about various drafting components available in SketchUp similar to AutoCAD, which can make modeling and drafting in SketchUp so easy. So let's get started. So how to find inferences in SketchUp? SketchUp has an inference engine that helps you work in 3D space. For example, when the line tool cursor is hovering over the midpoint of another line, the inference engine tells you by displaying a light blue dot and screen tip that says midpoint, as shown here. Every inference has its own color and screen tip. Like when you go to any end of a line, a green screen tip appears which says endpoint. Also, if you hover your mouse over any other part of the line other than midpoint or endpoint, a red square dot will appear which says that the point is on edge. And a blue square dot says that your point is on the face. The inference engine can also help you in finding geometric relationships between lines. For example, it tells you when a line you are drawing is perpendicular to another line. When you start drawing a line from a certain point on any inclined plane or any different angle, you will see that the line you are drawing will become magenta in color and also the edge from which you are starting that line will become magenta as well. When you are working with inference, pay close attention to the inference engine and orbit occasionally to check your drawing from different viewpoints. In the screen you can see the lines might appear to be on the same plane until you orbit your model to a different view. To avoid this common mistake, SketchUp helps by turning your drawing direction or drawing plane red, green or blue when you are creating edges and magenta color when you are creating planes parallel or perpendicular to an edge or face in your model. Now how can we lock inferences with the keyboard shortcuts? By locking inferences, you can confidently draw along the direction you intend to draw. Another reason to lock an inference is to maintain one drawing direction while you reference geometry from another point of the model. That's a more advanced move, but very helpful. The easiest way to lock an inference to the default axis direction is to use the arrow keys. So when you start drawing a line from any point, the cursor can snap automatically to all axes like blue, green or red and also to any perpendicular or parallel axis. But the line is also free to move in any other directions as well, which can create problems while modeling. So to fix or lock an inference to any particular axis, we can use arrow keys from keyboard. For example, to lock the line on blue axis, press the up arrow key. That will lock the drawing direction or drawing plane to the blue axis. Similarly, left arrow key locks the drawing direction or drawing plane to the green axis. And the right arrow key locks the drawing direction or drawing plane to the red axis. Now, to lock the parallel or perpendicular drawing direction to an inference edge or plane, use down arrow key. The more you will press down key, the more it will toggle and find all possible parallel or perpendicular drawing direction from that particular point. Basically, anything that turns magenta. The drawing direction will turn magenta in color as well as the edge of face that is being in friends. Another easy way to lock the drawing direction is by using one single key which is shift key. It locks the drawing direction or drawing plane to the active drawing direction or plane. You can choose whichever direction you want your line to be locked by giving it direction and then press and hold shift key to lock your drawing direction till you want. The moment you release shift key, 
the drawing direction will be unlocked and your line will be free again. Similarly, you can lock your drawing directions in blue, green and red axis as well by simply moving your line into that direction to make them an active drawing direction and then press and hold the shift key. The moment you press the shift key, you will see the line will become bold and darker than normal which indicates that the drawing direction is locked. For perpendiculars and parallel drawing direction, you can do the same. By using the arrow keys, we can also lock the tools like rotate, protector or circle and others to the same face plane that is inferenced. Let's understand with few examples starting with rotate tool. When you are in the rotate tool, it will automatically snap to various possible axes by which you can rotate your model. But all those axes may not be available at one point. As you can see in the screen, when I put my rotating tool at the lowest point in the model, by default it gives the option to rotate along blue axis because the rotate tool color is blue. But when I press the left arrow key, the rotate tool will be locked to green axis automatically and it's free to choose some other center or point by which I can rotate my model. Similarly, I will use right arrow key on some random point to lock my rotate tool to red axis. You can see the rotate tool color is changed to red now. If it's black, that means it is not aligned to any axis. Now let's see another example of circle tool. When I bring the circle tool on any of the inclined plane or surface, I can draw the circle on that angle on the surface. But if I want to take a reference from that plane and draw the circle at same angle somewhere else in the model. For that, you have to use down arrow key to lock the circle tool at that angle. You can see the circle tool color has changed to magenta now. Also, I can move the circle to any other point and can draw it at same angle wherever I want in my model. Same way we can do with polygonal tool. You can keep exploring different ways by which you can use arrow keys to set various drawing directions of tools in SketchUp. Now, how to make sure that your edges are aligned to their axis? To ensure your edges are aligned to axis, you can use the cursor to match the axis colors to blue, green or red. But this is very time taking process. Not good when you want to check many lines or edges. There is another short way to check the edge alignment by using color crosshair in SketchUp similar to AutoCAD. To change your cursor to axis colors, Follow these steps. Select window option from menu bar. Go to preferences. In the preferences dialog box, select the drawing option. In the miscellaneous area of the drawing panel, select the display crosshair checkbox. Click OK to close the SketchUp preference dialog box. The cursor displays crosshair that are the color of the axis as shown here. Now you can directly put your cursor anywhere in the model to check the alignment of axis altogether. Another way is to reverse the method of color reflection. Now you can make all the edges in your model reflect the axis color to which it is aligned instead of the cursor. Follow these steps to do that. In the default tray, select Style menu. In the Select tab, choose In Model option from the drop down list. In the Color selection, select By Axis option from the drop down list. The colors of the edges in your model change to reflect their alignment to the axis as red, blue, and green. 
If the edges are not aligned to any of those axes, the color of those edges will remain black as default. So here is the end of section C which was about uh, drawing basics and concepts in SketchUp. I hope you all got a clear idea about SketchUp drawing methods, drafting techniques and others. In next section which is section D, I will explain you in detail about various methods, shortcuts, tips and tricks to draw basic shapes in SketchUp and how to create complex geometry out of those basic shapes.